Now comes something even more interesting. What if we were to make this charge disappear? Poof, gone. Well, the force will also disappear because the space will only put a force as long as the charge exists. But notice that the space is very much on guard. Alright, the space is still on guard over here. So if I were to put a, for, a, a charge here again, magically, if I were to make a charge here appear again, magically, then the, the force would come instantly. You don't have to wait for some time delay because, you know, the influence already exists. But what if this time, instead of putting a positive charge, what if I put a very tiny negative charge? What happens then? Well, we all know what happens then. It's gonna get experience of force in the opposite direction. Wait, why does that happen? Ooh, it turns, so that tells us that space might put a force towards the right on a positive charge, but it actually puts a force on the negative charge in the opposite direction. Why is that? The reason for that is this positive charge not only tells the space to push positive edges towards the right, but at the same time, it has also told the same patch of space that if it were a negative charge, you have to pull it. And so you see, the information that I showed earlier is actually incomplete. The information of the blue arrow marks only tells what the space will do for a blue positive charge. But at the same time, the space also knows what to do for negative charges. Now positive and negative is just a sign convention, all right? There's no reason to call one positive or negative, just we like to differentiate it. And so along with the blue, the red also exists. So every point in space, there are actually two things that exist. The space is on guard to push not only a positive charge, but also to pull a negative charge. So the influence of a charge on space is not only to push positives, but also to push negatives. And these two influences, as you can see, are absolutely in the opposite direction. And so if a positive charge pops up somewhere, so if I were to now put magically a positive charge over here, boom, it'll experience a force this way. Because space understands that's a positive charge. And if a negative charge were to appear over here, boom, it would experience a force this way. Because the space understands it's a negative charge. So, do you think this positive charge is attracting and repelling anyone? No, it isn't. It isn't. All right? You understand how profound this theory is? This is the theory that we use today. So empty space is not empty at all. Okay, now I'll tell you something really amazing. Think about this. Suppose I put a positive charge over here, and there's another positive charge over there, and we have had enough time for the information to travel from here to there and from there to here, and so both the charges are repelling each other. But we are not allowing them to move. Okay, so this is Q1, all right, let me put in blue. This is Q1, and this is Q2. Okay, now here's the question. What if I remove Q2, and at the same time, without having any time delay, you can imagine that the time delay is arbitrarily small. Without having any time delay, I put a negative charge over there. Okay, that's what I do. So, this is at some time t equal to zero, and the system evolves in enough in, in such a such a ridiculously small time that space doesn't get enough time to influence even the neighboring patch Just imagine that way so what happens after a fraction of a second so after some time t plus delta t this is what it look this is what we have i have a charge q1 and i make this disappear and i make minus q appear over here i want you to think about the direction of the forces on either ones. And this time we'll assume both charges are considerably strong. What do you think is going to happen? Pause the video for a while and think about the force vectors. All right, here's how we can work this out. Look, Q1 has already put, already told the space what to do. Now I will not, I will not draw all the arrow marks over there. I will just draw the arrow mark at this patch of space patch of space but I'm interested in at Y and at X. Q1 has already influenced all the space and at patch Y the influence is towards the right for a positive charge and towards the left for a negative charge. 
what you can see over here, same thing as well. So that is what Q1 has told the patch of space why to do. Similarly, Q2 also has told the same thing over here. It has told that if there's a positive charge over here, because Q2 also influences, right? So Q2 has also influenced the patch X over here and it has told that if there's a positive charge, it must go this way. And if there's a negative charge, it must go, uh, that the space should pull it or push it this way. But now what I do is I instantly, I instantly remove this charge and I put a negative charge. What's going to happen? Well, since I do not allow any time, any time to pass by, there isn't any time for the information to travel. And therefore, at this point, the, uh, the, the space pretty much remains exactly the same. This way for a positive charge and this way for a negative charge. And it's for that reason, Q1 is still going to end up experiencing a force towards the left. Do you understand that? I hope you understand that. What about at this point in space? Well, again, at this point in space, nothing's going to change. So this will be towards the right and this will be towards the left. And so what we will see now is the force on negative will be flipped towards the left. Did you get this? This is what the force is going to look like. Okay. The reason the force flips over here because the space already knows what to do. Okay, now let's do something even more interesting. What if, again, after another delta, 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 delta T, so here's already delta T, I add one more delta, 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 delta T, okay? Again, imagine that I do not allow any time to pass, so these space parts can't change at all, okay? This time, I keep the negative charge here itself, but I instantly put a negative charge here now. Could you tell what's going to happen? Could you tell? Think about it. Pause the video for a while. All right, here's the solution. Since the patch of space has not changed, I mean, it has not gotten any information about the changes that have happened, the space pretty much remains exactly the same. I hope you're not getting confused with these arrow marks. The blue arrow marks is what the space will do to a positive charge and the red arrow marks is what the space will do for a negative charge. They represent the direction that the space would put if you were to if you were to put positive and negative charges. So, since the in the since the polar what do we say? Uh, since the property of the space has not changed, there wasn't any time for the property of the space to change. Now you will see on the negative charge it would still remain towards the left because the space already knows that. And what about this negative charge? Well, space already knows what to do on the negative charge. See here, it's gonna put towards the right. Oh my God, look at this. Two negative charges, they're attracting each other. Have you ever seen something like this? Go and tell this to your science teacher that two negative charges can attract each other and they will call you mad. <laughs> Okay, so don't do that, don't do that. But this is true, it's possible. You understand that? This is a profound theory, and we have tested this. This is possible. It's impossible to explain how a negative charge and a negative charge can attract each other, except, except if you adopt the theory that it's not the charges that are influencing each other, it's the space that's influencing the charges. All right. So, I hope I was able to clarify, at some level, the mechanism of the electric force, okay? And we give a name to this property, you see? This property of space, which allows it to push charges, we give a name to that. That property of space is called as electric field. That is the meaning of the word electric field. So at any time when I say that there is an electric field at point P, what does it mean? It just means that the point P, that empty space, has the ability to push on charges. It has the ability to push on positive charge in one direction and at the same time, it also has the ability to push on a negative charge in exactly the opposite direction. That's the meaning of the word 
that there is an electric field. That's the meaning of the sentence, that there is an electric field that exists at point P. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to watch more intuitive physics, please leave a comment below. Tell me what topics you want me to do. I'm going to do it intuitive without any formulae whatsoever. And uh, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.